Is your Mac getting slower by the day, which is greatly affecting your performance and productivity? There are some basic tips you can follow to make your Mac faster. Some you might know already, and others you are yet to discover from the video shortly. Oh, that's great. Without further ado, let's begin. Disable animations. When you purchase your Mac with factory settings untouched, you will realize that everything runs super fast, especially when there are no animations in the background when opening your application. Launching apps and surfing the web is smooth and responsive. But when you enable anime opening applications or slow genie effect, you will realize your Mac is getting slower because of the slow animations it does when opening applications on your devices. This action drains a bit of your machine's energy, causing it to slow down on performance. One may ask, how do I disable this function? Simple, just go to your desktop and dock settings, uncheck the anime opening application, and also turn off the slow genie effect, and your applications will launch faster and smoother like it used to be. No stress at all. Did you know that low power mode can actually affect your Mac's performance? No. Turn off low power mode. Every laptop has energy modes which are there to give you the best out of your device. But do you really know what these energy modes do to your machine if any of them is enabled? For instance, when the automatic mode on the battery setting is activated, it means that your laptop is running smoothly without compromising performance. Immediately the low power mode is enabled. Your PC starts to run slow. This is because it cuts down your performance level to half. So if you want your Mac to give you the best performance, make sure to go to your battery section. You will see on battery settings. Make sure you turn off low power and then turn on the automatic function rather. There is also high power mode, which gives you the best performance when you want the best out of your Mac. Go to your battery section. Now here we have some energy modes and I would go into this on battery setting and I would make sure that it is not turned on low power mode if you're having issues. Now for some Macs like the M2 MacBook Air, low power mode still gives you good performance, but for the M1 MacBook Air, it cuts it down to about half, which you don't want if you need it to run fast. Now on some Macs, you will also see a high power mode. And if you're running on battery and you want the best performance, you wanna make sure to toggle that. The next tip is something most of you but never paid attention to because it never crossed your mind that it could slow your PC down. Use of the Activity Monitor Activity Monitor is a built-in app that shows you how your Mac's system resources are being used. Please subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks about your general laptop performance and how to improve upon it. Oh, well, that's easy. You can use it to identify which apps or processes are using the most CPU, memory, or network resources. Those apps occupying half of your CPU or memory will cause your Mac to slow down. Ouch. If the memory graph shows green, then you are safe, but if it is yellow or red then, you have to delete some of the apps topping the list. Because those apps are taking up so much space, the Mac doesn't have enough to run smoothly. If you notice an app or process using a lot of resources, you can quit it or take other steps to reduce its impact on your system so that your Mac can be faster again. Do you know what periodic restart of your Mac does to your performance? Let's find out. Periodic restart. Most of us only restart our laptops when it's extremely slow. That's true. And we need it to level up. And it works all the time. Immediately, the device is back on all the applications start running smoothly. Some of us never restart our machines. Turn it on use and turn it off. So anytime we are working, the laptop is very slow, we can't get any work done, and we are always stressed. I know, right? You will be blaming the laptop for not being good, but you just need to do something small, and it's back to normal. In order for you to make your Mac faster again, you have to periodically restart your device. You shouldn't wait for it to slow down before you do it. And if you feel like you are going to forget then there is an easy way for you to go about it. Go to your terminal app, then type in sudo space, pm set space, repeat space, restart and select which days of the week you want it to automatically restart the device. So you can use the first letters of days. So for example T to stand for Tuesday and the time you want the restart to take place. 
After that, type in your password, press enter, and you are done. So on Tuesdays at 11 p.m., your Mac will automatically restart even if you forget. Open up your terminal app and here type in sudo space pm set space repeat space restart. And then here you could select which days of the week you want it to automatically restart. So here I have one selected for every day. You could just type in M for Monday if you want it to restart once a week. And then I have these zeros here, it's military time. So at midnight on Monday, it would restart so it's ready and fresh for me. After that, you hit enter, put in your password, put in your password, and done. I never have to think about restarting ever again. Now, if you wanna see what your schedule is, type this in, hit enter, and then right here you see at midnight every day we are restarting. And to clear it is easy, just type in this hit enter and bam, now you are back to factory settings. To see a full list of commands, type in man PM set, and then here you can actually look and there are so many things that you could do with it. What do you think the next trick will be? Clear your logins. Logins are simply lists of apps that launch immediately your Mac is turned on restarted. For example, immediately your device is turned on Chrome also launches even though it's not needed at that time. Applications that launch automatically when you start up your Mac can slow down the boot process. Hence, needs to be disabled so your Mac can run fast. To get rid of this logins, go to settings and enter login into the search button. A list of apps that launch when the Mac is turned on will appear. All you need to do to disable the ones you don't need. You can always launch them when need be. Now your Mac will be running fast, just like how you like it. Wondering why your Mac is still slow after going through all these steps? Continue watching the video and you will find out. Not enough RAM. RAM is what your Mac uses to store apps and data. The larger the RAM, the more data and apps you can store and your Mac will run faster. Immediately you start running low on memory, the laptop starts to slow down, you get to experience longer app launch and slower opening of tabs. Make sure your Mac is not maxing out on your SSD, because at times data that cannot be stored on the RAM goes onto the SSD and occupies all your storage. Especially video editing and gaming apps take up a lot of space that can slow your Mac down. To see the amount of memory left you can check that at the activity monitor then you will get to know whether you're slowing down or not. Make sure to check your SSD and clear off any junk to save up space to keep your Mac faster. Exciting! Do you have apps running on the background even when not in use? Then advise yourself. Background apps. Background apps actually have their advantages, and these include receiving updates as and when needed, and also it's easy to resume where you left off after using that app, instead of starting from scratch. Background apps do more harm than good. It slows down the performance of your Mac and drains your battery in some cases. For instance, whilst surfing the web for information, you don't need GoToMeeting to be running on the background. It will slow down your performance and drain your battery life, so the best option would be to turn it off. Make sure to turn off all the apps you don't need, but are running on the background, to make your Mac faster again. Is your iCloud syncing enabled? Then that might be the reason why your Mac is slowing down. Disable iCloud syncing. When your iCloud storage is enabled, you are rest assured that all your important documents are being kept safe. Should in case of a system crash, you can retrieve all your data from the cloud. Ah, oh, great. But when iCloud syncing is enabled, your Mac starts to run slow because it is also running on the background. Even if the data is very huge, iCloud will push a lot of resources just to store the data. To prevent this from happening, go to System Settings, Apple ID, then iCloud. You will see a list of items that are being uploaded to your iCloud storage. Look for Optimized Mac Storage. This setting will tell Mac to stop uploading your files to the cloud, but rather store the iCloud Drive content locally on the drive to save enough space for faster Mac performance. If these tips were useful, don't forget to like and share with all Mac users out there. Every hidden truth behind the M2 MacBook Pro has been exposed. Watch our next video for the full story. Thank you for watching this video to the end.
If there are any products you would like a review on, let's us know in the comment section and we will deliver.